America has more prisoners than any other country in the entire world. Of all of the persons who are incarcerated on planet Earth, America has 25% of them, even though America is only 5% of the global population. With almost 2 million Americans incarcerated, we imprison at rates rivaling Rwanda and Cuba. Something's wrong here. What is it? I've studied the American criminal justice system deeply over the last four years. And what I've discovered is a humanitarian crisis right under our noses, fellow Americans. For citizens who get trapped in jails or prisons for crimes like drug use, which is rooted in physical dependence or emotional trauma, things I can't exactly help, or stealing, which is usually the result of the trauma of poverty. We incarcerate them excessively. In my view, these people are modern day slaves. Our constitution describes prisoners as slaves. It's legal. Slavery is legal still. These people are forced to work in factories and the prisons making shoes, vests, license plates, or other commodities. They're paid mere cents an hour for forced labor or paid nothing at all, while others, including those in private industry, profit from their labor. Living conditions are also inhumane and dehumanizing. Many severely mentally ill people are put in jails and prisons when they need mental health care treatment instead. This system also fails to rehabilitate, which means it's a waste of our money. And oh yes, this all costs taxpayers big bucks. In California, for example, we pay over $132,000 per year to incarcerate a single person. Many people have vested interests in keeping this system as it is, rather than upgrading it to be more ethical and effective. Police forces, courts, jails, and prisons are all incentivized to maintain the status quo because of the financial incentives they have by taking our money and causing so much harm to so many people. <sighs> Those people don't want to lose their jobs. They'd rather keep the big business of human enslavement going, even in 2024. Government is consuming citizens, chewing us up, abusing us, not helping us, so they can have job security. Please hear what I just said. What's so heartbreaking is that we spend more imprisoning Americans than we do educating them. We spend more in prisons and schools in all 50 states. We do more to police, judge, and punish our citizenry than we do to uplift and help them. Please pay attention to this issue. Millions of American families are victims of our broken government as the generational trauma just keeps getting passed down since government often fails to help us and often harms us, even though we pay a third to a half of our incomes and taxes for them to help us. So, you know, if you're a black man in America, for example, you have a one in three chance of being incarcerated in your lifetime. Look up Angola prison, it was a plantation. We have slavery in this country and it's mostly black men. Look at the statistics. We have a war on poor people too. If you can't afford the fancy attorneys, you'll end up locked up and it's gotta stop. So that's why I'm launching the Prison Transparency Project to try to bring attention to this in a new way by really highlighting the stories of unbelievable cases of injustice in America. You're not gonna believe the truth, people. It's uglier than you can possibly imagine. Check out prisontransparency.com for more information. Thank you.